So yeah, this is definitely not a oh. <laughs> blind girl vlogging. Hello and welcome to my kitchen. It's Molly here again for another video. And today I'm doing a what's in my fridge video because I'm a foodie. I'm really into eating. A lot of you wonder how I cook and what I eat. So I thought this was like a good way to show it. Plus I have an epic fridge. This is like one of the Samsung Family Hub smart fridges. You can see I have a cute little, uh, cute little picture of my doggy on here. He's getting ready to eat all the food inside. And uh, there's like a whole bunch of stuff you can do on this. You can watch me on YouTube. Obviously I sit and eat my breakfast and like watch my own YouTube videos. I swear I don't do that. That would be very odd. Um, but you can also like check the weather and like Google searches and honestly it's like endless what you can do on this which is so cool. And then it also of course has like water and ice, which is so convenient. This is one of those little things that when fridges don't have it, I'm like really happy with this. And it's really nice because it's like a double door opener, but I'll just start with this one side here so you can see better. So here on the door, I have chocolate almond milk. I have regular almond milk. This one's almost totally empty because I have it with my coffee every day. And as the ranch, I only have this for Jake. Jake is my camera guy in case you guys did not know because my mama bear has gone back to Toronto and so he's taking over filming and um, so he's over a lot filming. So I have some stuff that he likes in here too. And he really likes ranch, don't you Jake? Yeah, like on my pizza. I'm not like, I don't just like drink ranch. No, he's like Shane. <laughs> Shane drinks ranch. No. <laughs> he actually does. I'm a big, so, big ranch on my pizza fan. Anyways. Ketchup. I'm a big ketchup fan. I really like ketchup. Up here, I have things like salsa and pickles. Big dill pickle fan. I know it's controversial to say, love me some pickles and olives. Ooh, also big mustard fan. I'm getting a sauce theme here. I'm big into the sauces. Oh, I put this on my pasta. You know, classic Parmesan cheese. All my Italian followers are probably gonna tell me I said the name of the cheese wrong, but. Sorry. Ooh, and then in here I have my, I think this is my butter, my Kerrygold butter. It's like a really spreadable butter. So I really like that because it's like, I don't know, it's easier to spread, I find. I have some cheese for, he's coming over. Who's the cheese for? Uh, I <laughs> He's like, oh, that's my cue. Note that I didn't even say his name. I just pulled the cheese out, babe. Oh, I'm doing a fridge tour right now, babe. I, I can't cut you a piece, but later. Le yeah, okay. I love the noise this fridge makes when you leave it open. It's like a reminder to close your fridge, but honestly, I find it like so peaceful and zen. I just want to leave my fridge open, but I'm an environmentalist. I shall not do that. And then I guess we'll go inside. I have a lot of my favorite drinks. So right here I have, um, it's like a chai almond milk latte. So if I ever don't want a hot coffee, I can have some of this. I have two cold pressed juices. One's more of a like green veggie base and the other one is like lemon gingery kind of situation. I love a good cold pressed juice. I'm big into my liquids, you'll notice. Um, I also have cut up watermelon and cut up mango because I really, those are like two of my absolute favorite fruits along with raspberries. So I have some like pre-cut kind of ones from Whole Foods which make it super easy. Whole Foods and Trader Joe's are pretty much the only places I grocery shop. And I try to get like the easiest things as a blind person who like, you know, lives alone. Try to get the easiest things. This is my kefir. This is what I use as a smoothie base. So I have a smoothie every day for breakfast. My go-to breakfast is a latte that I make with my Nespresso machine and a smoothie. This is the base for all my smoothies is kefir. And then I only eat sourdough bread. It's the only type of bread I have. So this is just a loaf from Whole Foods of sourdough bread. Then coming down to this shelf, we have a whole lot of baby carrots. Big baby carrot fan. And so I just keep all my baby carrots. Like I try to take all of my fruits and veggies when I can and put them in these glass containers. I just think it's better. These are my pickles. And I can make some pickles. And then these are like these, I haven't tried these. Full disclosure, this is like, I just did a big grocery shop. So I just did like a big grocery shop cause I just moved into my new apartment. So this is like very fully stocked with all of my favorite things. These aren't necessarily things I'll have like every single grocery shop, but they're a lot of my favorite things. And these I found at Whole Foods and I was like, that sounds like a fun little snack to try. So they're like these hippie hemp truffles. So I'll let you know if they're good. Follow me on Instagram and you'll see if those are good. Then I have grapes in a bowl that I've started eating. Over here I have, if you have never tried these, don't do it. I urge you, don't do it. You will become addicted and gain a lot of weight. I'm a testament. 
These are from Trader Joe's. They're the dark chocolate peanut butter cups and they are my guilty pleasure. I try my best to not keep them in the fridge to be honest because when I do, they go fast. Then I have my probiotics. Probiotics have to be kept in the fridge. It's one of my only supplements that has to be kept in the fridge. I have probiotics every day along with fish oil. I try to have vitamin D. I, every single morning, start with lemon water, uh, apple cider vinegar, and manuka honey and all my supplements. So that's my supplement in there. And then this is my milk container that goes into my Nespresso machine because I make lattes with my Nespresso machine. So this just plugs in. It's filled with the almond milk that was in the fridge door you saw. And yeah, down here we have a bunch of ready-made meals from Trader Joe's. So pretty much what I typically do is like I said, I told you what my breakfast is. Lunch, I'll do snacky things. So I'll do like baby carrots with hummus, a piece of toast with uh, tapenade and a banana or something like that. Um, so I try to keep it like very almost like a snacky lunch and then my dinner is typically either like Postmates or do a ready-made meal from Trader Joe's. I have a couple here. I haven't actually tried this one, but then these are some of my favorite ones. I don't know if you guys can uh, read the labels or Jake can read them to you. Greek style chicken. Heat and serve. Oh, it's really good. Chicken. Oh, no, I'm not going to say that word because I'll probably mess it up. Pachata? Oh, right. piccata. Piccata? Piccata. All right. Very good. My Italian followers will probably once again correct me. Which is uh, okay. Can you turn it around? Stuffed peppers. Oh, the stuffed peppers are really good. All of those are like some of my absolute favorite ready-made ones. Um, and then in the freezer, you'll also see I'll ha I have some frozen ones from there as well. And then here are some of my favorite little dips. This is amazing. Also from Trader Joe's. Hashtag not spots, but like call me, you know? So this is a like smoked salmon and caper dip. Oh, life-changing. You have to have it. This is a vegan basil cashew pesto and this is really good in pasta i just have this which i think is my hummus hummus i'm still like learning my own fridge to be honest i always have to try to keep things in the same spot but because it's new and i just put all my groceries in i'm like wait a second where did i put things again then i have this which is my guacamole i love it because guacamole goes off so fast once you open it but these come in individual packages which are like one kind of it's gonna become a meme i know it so these are like one serving size, which is amazing because, you know, I'm one human, so it works well. I didn't even know I had these. <laughs> I have tofu spring rolls. That's really exciting. Thanks, mom. I didn't know she bought that. I'm really excited about it, though. I have this tzatziki. Which tzatziki? Tzatziki. It's Greek, I believe. Very exciting. Greek followers. Correct me if I'm wrong. But tzatziki is really tasty. Highly recommend. And then this is a cheese that I usually put in my Greek salads. It's a very good cheese. I really like that Greek cheese. Feta. And then these are my favorite yogurts. I also got them at Trader Joe's. My favorite one is the strawberry, but you know, you don't want to get tired of the same one every day. Sometimes if I'm like not feeling a smoothie and I just want to run out the door, I'll grab one of these yogurts and like a little trail mix bag and then have, you know, good protein in the morning. And then I have some other yogurts and stuff back there. And then I have eggs, which I really dislike eggs. So I really don't use those often, but you know. Other people like them. In the drawer down here, I just have more cut up veggies in containers here. And then I have a bunch of salads. These are more ready-made salads from Trader Joe's. So my two favorite ready-made salads that they have at Trader Joe's are their Greek salad and their like Asian noodle salad, chicken, peanut, Thai, whatever salad. I'm sure that's what they call it too. In this drawer, I just have other ready-made salads which are like in bags so they're more like this is not a one person brb i'm sure there's a way to turn that off for the sake of this video but i don't know what it is so we're working with it you know so yeah this is definitely not a oh. <laughs> <laughs> blind girl vlogging and then i have a bunch of lemons and cucumbers because i love me some lemons and i love me some cucumbers so Big thing. This side of the fridge door, this is where the ice shoots down. Very fun. Up here, I have nothing. <laughs> oh, I love this. The fridge like has a jug built in. Um, so what I put in it is ginger and lemon, and it's just water. So if I want some ginger lemon water, it's right there. 
And then down here is one of my favorite parts of the whole fridge because it has some of my favorite drinks. So I have two different flavors of coconut water. I love these. I get them at Whole Foods. Um, I have pineapple and mango, which are my two favorite flavors of coconut water. Then I have this, which is a cold brew coffee. Again, if I want to like grab my coffee and run out the door in the morning, I can just grab this instead of like making a latte and putting it in a go cup. This is one of my favorite kombuchas. I'm a kombucha addict, have been for like, I want to say six years now. I'm not just hopping on the trend, peeps. I'm an OG with the kombucha. I think it's kombucha. Okay. Just so you know, <laughs> if okay. you want to say it different. <laughs> I'm my own unique unicorn. All right, yeah. Don't yeah. rip my horn off. You can call it kombucha. <laughs> so then I have this vitamin water. I've been getting really into working out because my new building has a gym, which is amazing. Getting, getting that fit for the summer vibe going. And so I have some vitamin water in case I'm ever like in need. And this is my favorite flavor, the triple X. And I love me some aloe juice, especially with pulp. So that's just like hanging out back there in case I ever have a craving. Like I said, I'm big on the liquids. And now we're done this part so we can say goodbye to the singing. Do, 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 do. One of the really cool things about this fridge, it, it has this like middle section. The middle section can be like for meat, but I don't really have, I don't really cook. So I don't have like a bunch of meat, raw meat sitting around, but it can also be used. You can like change the temperature settings on the screen so that it becomes like a wine fridge. So in here, and I am of age 24, so I have a bunch of beer. I don't drink beer, but you know, I like to provide for my friends. So I have some beer from Trader Joe's. I don't know if it's any good because I don't drink beer. I have some wines because I do drink wine occasionally, and I have a sparkling lemonade, and I think it's from Italy, maybe France. I am a big fan of lemonade. It's nice sitting by the pool, and of course, if somebody wants a beverage and they don't drink, it's good to offer options. So I love that section. My dad's favorite part of the fridge. Then down here is the freezer. I love these kind of freezers. Like, it's such a convenient style of freezer. So there's this top shelf here. Over here I have some some Ben and Jerry's brownie fudge ice cream situation. That was a gift from somebody. I don't usually buy myself that much ice cream, but like not saying no, you know? And then I have a bunch of frozen fruit. So this is all for my smoothies. I like to just have a bunch of options for frozen fruits um, to grab and go for my smoothies. I also have boneless, skinless chicken breast, which I haven't tried yet, but I am going to. So we'll see how that works out. Push this aside. This section down here is the dessert section which I don't ever like make myself a dessert alone, but if I have friends over or I'm celebrating, you know, it's nice to be able to pull out a treat or you know, PMSing. It happens once a month to be exact. So some of my favorites, I don't know which one is which, which is this. Organic jasmine rice. I don't think that's a treat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so blind. Okay. Well, this is really good rice, by the way, though. Well, you know, it could be a treat. I can make rice pudding. I'm not going to, but I could. <laughs> these, I actually haven't tried. These are the chocolate-covered bananas. I saw these in um, Ro Rosanna Pancino. I struggle to say that name. I saw this in her fridge tour a little while ago, and I was like, that sounds bomb. This is a box of the chocolate lava cakes. I think it comes with two in the package, and these are so good, especially if you... This does it too! Especially if you make like fresh whipped cream and put some raspberries on the side or something. These are really good. This is the cookie, is it not? That is the cookie. This, oh, so good. It, again, with like ice cream on top, this one. Mm. It's like a deep dish, big cake cookie. Very yummy. These aren't for me. I bought them for Jake because Jake often comes over to film and has not eaten breakfast. <laughs> it's like a consistent, consistent issue. And so that's why I like to have stuff in here for him. So I have blueberry waffles. I've never tried them, but he's a big fan. So take it for what you will. Goodbye, desserts. I'll see you someday. On this side is all like my frozen stuff. So in here I have um, some chicken wings that I haven't tried yet. I don't know if that's what I'm holding, but I have a whole bunch of different ones down here. I think these are the chicken wings. They feel yeah. like chicken wings. I have vegan chicken nuggets, which I'm a big fan of. Jake was disgusted when he saw them. It's just such an oxymoron. Vegan chicken nuggets. I was vegan for a long time, for those <laughs> who don't know, so I still like some vegan foods. These are really good sweet potato fries. So, you know, just sort of like a mix. So like I said, that's kind of what I usually will do for dinners, is that kind of thing. There you go, that's what's in my fridge. That's, oh, hi babe. He's like, about that cheese you mentioned earlier? You still want the cheese, don't you? Mommy, give me the cheese. 
I want a little cheese. So I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me and my singing French. I'm a big fan of everything that's in here, except the things that I mentioned I haven't tried yet because I can't attest to those, but I, I feel like they're probably good. There you have it. Let me know, comment below, what is your favorite thing to keep in your fridge? What is your must have? What are you surprised to see in my fridge or surprised not to see in my fridge? Let me know, comment down below. Oh, also, side note, this video is not sponsored, but I have a, I have a, a bit of a like love for Samsung because they put me in one of their commercials for the Oscars. So just to leave you on a high note, um, here's a little clip of me in an Oscars commercial for Samsung. Make them see something beautiful. Okay, thanks for hanging out with me. Love you so much. Bye.